Fuji Q Highland is a world class theme park located in Fujiosa, Japan, and with it being home to over 40 attractions, there is no wonder it is so popular. However, today we are going to count down the top 10 rides at Fuji Q Highland. Starting off at number 10, we have Cool Japan. And no matter whether you are heading to the park on a hot Japanese day and want to get absolutely soaked or you are just looking for a fun family ride, then this is just for you. The only thing is however, this is not your normal water ride as despite its very short lout, you will rise 230 metres in the air before a small turn and then a final plummet into the water below, definitely finishing off the ride with a humongous splash and so I would feel wrong not putting it on our top 10 list. Have you ever wanted to go back in time? Well you sure would do after our number 9 spot, Panic Clock, because as you can probably guess by the name, this ride is plain down crazy and you would not be wrong. With in a nutshell, as soon as you and the rest of the thrill seekers in your group have boarded one of the two giant arms, you will rock back and forth, higher and higher, until you are completely rotating upside down, again and again and again, providing an awful lot of hang time, thrills and fun that you nor your stomach will ever forget. Get ready for takeoff as for our number 8 position we have Tentokami where you, of course if you think you have what it takes to fly a stunt plane, can climb aboard this plane, rise into the sky and spin around. How cool is that? However we are still not at the best part yet as whilst you are doing all of this by using the levers located on the wings you will be able to make your plane flip upside down meaning that if you want to take a nice calm and relaxing ride you can do that or if you want to flip non-stop you can sure do that too. You can't have a theme park without a gyro swing and Fuji Q Highland is no exception as for our number 7 spot we have Tom Mania, and so with this ride being so common around the world, for starters if you are visiting the park on a busy day, then we would suggest riding the more unique attractions first, yet if you do get a chance to ride, you will definitely not be disappointed, with your giant disc spinning around, whilst also rising higher and higher into the sky. And you do not need to be a rocket scientist to know that this is awesome. If you are scared of heights then, look away now. As for our number 6 spot, we have Tekka de Banjou. And with it standing at a height of 59 metres, making it one of the tallest rides at the park, already I know some of you are going to be like, no way Jose. However, it does not stop there, as once you have made it to this height, not only will you get a spectacular view across the park and surrounding area, but with it being a swing ride, you will swing outwards, which trust me when I say, is definitely not for the faint of heart, but also a ride that should be a must do on your next visit. Top 5 Work work and coming in for this spot, we have Red Drop Tower, the ride for you if you have just ridden Tekka Shobadiya and you are still looking for even more thrills because as soon as you have boarded the gondola, instead of rising into the air and swinging, you will begin your adventure by slowly rising to 52 metres followed by a series of drops and bounces at a maximum speed of 65 kilometers an hour. So yeah, this ride is crazy, although if you can build up the courage to drop it, 
it will definitely be an experience that you will never forget. It is time for our first coaster on the list. As for our number 4 spot, we have Fujiyama. And despite it being the oldest coaster at the park, with its debut back in 1996, it has always been a fan favourite. And for a good reason, because along its almost 7,000 foot off track, you and up to 27 other thrill seekers will get to experience many steep drops, crazy moments of airtime, rough bank turns, and so, so much more at a speed of 80 miles per hour. And so, with that much beloved lap bar restraint too, in my eyes, a trip to Fuji-Q Highland would be nowhere near complete without a ride. Here we are at the top three rides at the park. And for our number three spot, we have Takashiba, the ride that has taken your classic coaster to the next level. And here is how. Now, of course, it would not be an amazing coaster without many twists, turns, drops and airtime heels. And this ride is no different. Yet what brings it to the next level is that on this Eurofighter, you will drop down a 121 degree drop, followed by 7 inversions, launch from 0 to 62 miles per hour in 2 seconds, as well as many Gerslauer twists and turns, causing even the biggest of thrill seekers in the group to hold on very, and I mean very tight. Who here loves getting their adrenaline pumping? Well, if that is you, then you have got to take a ride on our number two spot, Don Delupa. As with it being FujiQ Highlands launch coaster, trust me when I say it will sure do that. However, it only gets better because along your way, not only will you be launched from 0 to 112 miles per hour in 1.6 seconds, making it the fastest acceleration out there, but you will also complete a 160 foot tall loop and many airtime hills and turns to slow you down, which is pretty crazy if you ask me. The question is however, do you think you have what it takes to ride or would you rather watch it from the ground level? We have made it to the number one spot and in our opinion for the best ride at the park, we have got no other then Ijanaika. And where do I begin when talking about this ride? As if I was going to talk about every great part, we would literally be here all day. Yet to start from the beginning, from the moment you walk into the park and see this incredible 250 foot ride, you will instantly want to jump aboard. And you should definitely do just that as words literally cannot describe how amazing it is to freely spin around the many drops, inversions and turns that this ride offers. And so with the amazing views too, I think it is very easy to see why it is at our number one spot. Thank you all for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.